I want to show you how you can upload your WooCommerce products into a meta product catalog using Pixel Your Site dedicated plugin. Our plugin is called Product Catalog Feed for WooCommerce. This one right here. Uh, this is the plugin. I will create a feed inside our plugin and then I will upload this feed uh, into a meta product catalog. In fact, I will create a meta product catalog and then upload the feed. I'm doing this video because Meta made recent changes and some clients, some of our clients are confused. Our previous videos um, don't match what Meta has right now. Uh, the process of creating product catalogs is not very different, but um, it, it's confusing for some users. So first of all, you need to install the plugin, Product Catalog Feed for WooCommerce. I already have it installed. Uh, when you buy the plugin from us, we will uh, give you a link to download the files, get the files from there, there and install the plugin. Now, create a feed. Give this feed a name. Any name, it makes sense. Um, Facebook product catalog is the feed type you want to select. We have various other types here, but for this video, I will select this one. I recommend keeping all the default settings. There are all sorts of settings that you can um, change. For example, exclude filter products in various ways. I recommend uploading all your products, including products that are out of stock. Uh, they will have an out of stock uh, field informing Meta that um, um, those products are not available on the website. You can create product sets that are um, that exclude products that are out of stock but for now let's just use the default settings many many settings you can uh, use here and generate a feed wait until the feed is completed it might take some time if you have a lot of products this process is based on the wordpress cron so if the feed is very very large we split it into pieces and um, starting a new piece generation is based on the wordpress cron so if you have the wordpress cron disabled the feed will not be completed or if you have very low traffic on the website again the feed might not be completed because the wordpress cron is triggered by website visitors that's why I'm opening the website so I can speed up the process. Yeah, I needed a, a, a visit on the website to trigger a new um, generation, a, a new uh, process for the remaining part of the feed. So now I have the feed. Now, what I need is to copy the feed URL. Click here, copy feed URL. I can copy it later on. Now let's go back let's go inside um, business manager this is a business manager i use for demo purposes go here all tools and uh, look for commerce manager if you don't have it in the shortcut section look in this list it's probably right here so open commerce manager and then add catalog if you already have catalogs you will see them listed here but i will create a new catalog Select e-commerce, upload products. Give this catalog a relevant name. Click create. Okay, now I have the catalog. View catalog. And uh, what I need is to upload my products. Go to data sources here and select data feed. Click next. And in this field, you need to add your feed URL, the one that you copied from here. So this feed URL. Paste. You don't need username and password. This feed is not protected. Click next. Uh, upload this 
uh, options allow you to configure when and how often Meta will crawl the feed. So how does it work? We automatically update the feed so the feed stays uh, updated and has the latest information about your products and then Meta from time to time, daily, weekly, hourly, it will crawl your feed updating the products uh, in the catalog as well. Click upload. You can change those options later on so it's not a big deal if you want to make adjustments. Okay, let's see items. Items are still uploading. It will take some time. If you have a large catalog with thousands of items, uh, this might take a while. Uh, otherwise, in my case, I think I have um, under 100 items. Uh, it will be faster. So revisit this page after a while to see if it works. Okay. And now I can see my items in the catalog and I click on an item and uh, I can see data about this item. Now, what is important? The content ID. This is the ID of the, of the product. We take this automatically from WooCommerce WordPress settings. This ID has to match the ID used by the pixel event fire for this item. If you use pixel your site, keep the default settings both inside the fit plugin and inside the pixel plugin because uh, we will use the same IDs. If you use something else to fire your um, uh, pixels, try to understand what ID they use and uh, uh, make sure that the feed use the same ID logic or change the way um, the pixel uh, uh, finds and uses IDs. So this he is very important and um, they have to match. They have to be the same values in the pixel and in the catalog. Again, if you use our plugins, everything is taken care of. You don't have to make any changes. I recommend not to make any changes regarding IDs. Uh, this is a simple product for, uh, this is a simple product, right? For um, variations, it, they look like this. So we have variations with a lot of variables. They are nested under the same um, group ID. That's because they share the same uh, item group id this is how uh, you need to send variable products they will have the same item item group id and meta will know that these products are related uh, that's about it if you have uh, multiple images for a product i'm not sure i have one with multiple images uh, let me check i don't think i have one in my in this particular demo website. The idea is that if you have multiple images in the gallery, we will send them all. And there is an option in the feed if you want to turn this particular um, stuff off. Images. Okay, here. We have this include additional initial image links link. We will take all the images uh, from the product gallery and send them with the feed. If you don't want this to happen, turn this off. I recommend you check all these uh, settings that we have, plenty of them, all of them can be useful for some of you. Um, but basically that's it. This is how you can upload your products into a meta product catalog using our plugin. The process is very simple. Now, when I make changes to a product, for example, uh, I set it out of stock or something, I change the price, uh, the plugin will update the data according to these global settings. You can control it from here. Hourly, daily, twice a day, weekly. And you can set up an hour to start the feed regeneration process. And you will see information about this listed here. But this is just the feed. You have similar options in the catalog as well. I just show them when configuring the catalog. Data sources. You can change them here, data sources. Click on the feed. 
settings. And uh, from here, you can um, replace schedule. This is how you can uh, change the, the moment or the frequency meta will crawl the feed. So there are two things. One, we need to update the feed and you have options inside our plugin. And uh, two, meta needs to crawl the feed and you have options inside your catalog under data feed settings. This is it. This is how uh, uploading products work with a feed made by our plugin. I'm Christian Stoichesko from uh, Pixel Your Site. I just show you our dedicated um, feed for WooCommerce. In this case, I show you how you can upload your products into a meta product catalog, but the feed works with Google, with Pinterest, with TikTok, so it's very versatile and um, very useful. Thank you for watching.